which is um, what I'm doing, what I, the assistance I'm offering concerning the, the UN 17 SDG goals. So a brief introduction about myself. My name is Ruth Oyekunle, and I'm a carbon and energy consultant at Carbon Limits Nigeria, a consulting firm in Nigeria. So what we do is we, we consult for companies on climate, environmental, and energy-related um, activities. So my some of our work relates to um, what is um, OB, is it OB? Okay, there's, there's a speaker that spoke um, earlier. Yes, so I mean, our work. Yeah, OB. <laughs> yes, so our work has some relations. So for me, I I have some experience in GHG emission inventory and accounting, and I've also been involved in in assessment, in the monitoring and verification of gas flare reduction projects in Nigeria. So I work with my company here, and we assist other companies and consult for them in reducing their greenhouse gas emissions, especially the oil and gas sector, where there are a lot of gas flares and leaks. So for me, I had a bachelor degree in chemical engineering, University of Illinois, and a postgraduate degree in energy studies from University of Ibadan. Okay, so now I'll be talking about my role as a carbon and energy consultant relating to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And looking at the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and what I do with my company here, it's actually interlinked because we have a number of goals that are specific to what we do. And the first is um, sustainable SDG 7, which is affordable and clean energy. We also address SDG 11, sustainable cities and communities. We address SDG 12, which is responsible for consumption and production. We also address SDG 13, which is climate action, as well as SDG 17, which is partnership for the goals. So from, for my company, what we do majorly is on carbon finance. And this is a specialized field that has to do with mobilizing investments for climate friendly, friendly projects and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. So climate issues is one of the prime issues in the world. And we also want to take the bull by the horn in Nigeria. So there are a lot of women who are taking action in that space and happen to be one of them. Um, so we consult for firms and for companies that want to reduce their emissions. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to then, I try to put some things down and I'll also to look at how our work really ties to the sustainable development goals. And for affordable and clean energy, in Nigeria, as of now, our electricity rate is low, it's not very much yet, it's still around 55%, and rural electrification is still at 39%. And we've had it as part of our goals, we want to achieve universal energy access by 2030. So to achieve that, we would need about 500,000 to 800,000 households by year to get connected to electricity, especially in the rural area. So there's a lot of work to do in that, um, in that space of providing um, energy. And one of the ways in which we contribute to that is when we call out for companies, oil and gas companies, that instead of them filling their gases, they can channel those gases, capture the reflect gases, process them, and use it in the power for power or other industrial uses. With that, it's providing low carbon energy and also for companies that are majorly renewable energy companies. So with that, we also try to see if their project can fit um, to applicable carbon finance mechanism. So on SG, SG 11, which is sustainable cities and communities, we help companies to reduce their carbon footprint. And I mentioned earlier, I worked on greenhouse gas inventory and accounting. So for companies to really know where their emissions are, they need to do the, they need to have an, um, an inventory of their emission sources. So with that, they'll be able to then know how and where to reduce their carbon footprint. And as such, the end result is we'll have sustainable cities and communities, and we we'll also consult for them on how to go green and have um, sustainable communities. Okay, another area we also focus on is on SD12, which is responsible consumption and production. So we assist organizations and also prefer um, um we also provide guidance to government on creating policies to reduce waste because waste is also um, a very, it's also a, a good source of emissions. 
the landfills and it's waste energy, waste energy, wasting of resources, pollution the environment. So there are negative effects of those wastes. But if they are channeled and used, it will reduce the to reduce the effect of to reduce the climate crisis. So we are working in that area, and there are other women and other companies who are taking action in that regard. On SDG 13, which is climate action, we take we're taking urgent action to combat the climate change. And as such, we conduct greenhouse gas inventories, and then we also develop carbon reduction strategies for companies, for oil and gas firms, for energy companies, industries. We assist them in having the carbon reduction strategies. And one of the ways we do that is these companies reach out to us that they want to have, um, they want to do their environmental, their, their ESG reporting, on, and then ETP plan or strategy. So with that, they're able to outline the pathway in which they're going to reduce their emissions over time. So the, well, the first step is for them to account for their emissions over a period of time and decide that these are the steps or actions that we take to reduce our emissions between 2023 and 2030 or 2050, depending on the sets or the targets that each company has. For Nigeria, our target to reach net zero is 2060. For some other com for companies are deciding to raise their ambition to 2050, why some decide to leave it at 2060. But the best thing is actions have to be taken. And a lot of companies are already making actions in, in that regard. And one of the other ways we also work and collaborate, or we also we also involved in the NCG, the partnership for the goals. And as a consultant myself, and also working with a consultancy firm, we collaborate and work with businesses, work with organizations, we work with governments to create policies and because individual alone or government alone cannot achieve um, a climate, a, a, a safe climate for us. It has to be a collaboration. So there is this partnership between the government, the, 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 the private institutions, businesses, individuals. So there are a lot of partnership in that area. So for me, I would encourage individuals and organizations who are already taking actions to reduce their emissions and are contributing towards the SDGs or encourage them to continue. And I would also encourage other companies who are who are yet to take some actions to, to take actions. Although for us in Africa, our emissions, our contribution, the contribution of our or our contribution to the global emissions is still at a very low rate of about three percent or less than five percent. But we feel the impact more of this of the of the climate change. So and as such, we can't fold our hands and become late movers. We also have to rise and make take action to ensure that we reduce um, emissions into the atmosphere. I'm aware that a lot of actions have been taking play, are taking place in other parts of the world in the developing countries, and as such, they are also supporting in terms in terms of climate finance and carbon finance mechanisms. So there is that support from the Develop world, develop countries, and also developing countries to ensure that our world is safe, is safe, is safer for us, and we reach the two degrees Celsius or one point five degrees Celsius, which is possible. So my takeaway point is Sorry. individuals and organizations. Sorry, if I could just, my apologies, Ruth. If I could just ask you to wrap up because we're we're sort of pressed on time now. Thank you. I'm, I'm ready to. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. Brilliant. Thank you very Thank much. You.